Hello everybody, it is me Gary Gabriel 135 and today we're going to be talking about SCP-106, Object Class Keter. No physical interaction with SCP-106 is allowed at any time. All physical interaction must be approved by no less than a two-thirds vote from O5 Command. Any such interaction must be undertaken in AR-11 maximum security sites. After a general non-essential staff evacuation, all staff research security class D, etc. are to remain at least 60, 60 meters away from the containment cell at all times. Except in the event of a breach event. SCP-106 is to be contained in a sealed container compressed comprised of lead-lined steel. The container will be sealed with within 40 layers of in of I identical material each layer separated by less than 36 centimeters of empty space support struts between layers are to be randomly spaced containers the container is to remain suspended no less than 60 centimeters from the surface by E-L-O-I-I-D Electromagnetic Supporters Secondary containment area is to be comprised of 16 spherical cells each filled with various fluids and a randomly assembled amount of surfaces and supports. Secondary containment is to be fitted with light systems capable of flooding the entire assembly with no less than 80 thousand looms of light instantly with no direct human invo involvement. Both containment areas are to remain under 24 hour surveillance. Any corrosion observed in on any containment cell surfaces, staff members, or other site locations within 200 meters of the SAP, SCP are to be reported to site security immediately. Any objects or personal lost not to the SCP are deemed missing KIA. No recovery attempts are to be made under any circumstance. Note: Continued research and observation has have shown that th when faced with highly complex randomly assembled Assemblies of structures SCP-106 can be confused, showing a marked delay on in entry and exiting from si said structure. SCP-106 has also shown an aversion to direct sun and light. This is not manifested in any form of physical damage, but a rapid ex exit to the pocket dimension generated on solid surfaces. These observations along with those of lead aversion and liquid confusion have reduced the general escape incidence by 43%. The primary cells have also been affected effective in recovering incidents requiring recall patrol protocol that dot, 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 dot observation is ongoing the description SCP-106 appears to be an elderly humanoid with a general appearance advanced decomposition this appearance may vary but the rotting quality is obvious in all its forms SCP-106 is not extremely agile and will remain motionless for days at a time waiting for prey. SCP-106 is also capable of scaling any vertical surface and can remain suspended upside down indefinitely. When attacking, SCP-106 will attempt to in incapacitate prey by damaging major organs, muscle groups, or tendons, then pull disabled prey into its pocket dimension. SCP-106 appears to be to refer human prey items in the 10 to 25 year of age bracket. SCP-106 causes a corrosion effect in all solid matter it touches, engaging a physical breakdown in materials several seconds after contact. 
This is observed as rusting, rotting, and cracking of the materials, and the creation of a black, mucus-like substance similar to the material of co that's coating SCP-106. This effect is particularly determined determinedly to living tissues and is assumed to be a pre-digestion action. Corrosion continues for six hours after contact, after which the effect appears to burn out. SCP-106 is capable of passing through solid matter, leaving behind a large patch of the corrosive mucus. SCP-106 is able to vanish inside solid material, entering what is assumed to be its pocket dimension. SCP-106 is able to exit this dimension from any point connected to a internal entry. Point. Point example. Entering examples. Entering the inner wall of a room and exiting the outer wall. Entering a wall and exiting from a ceiling. It is unknown if this is a point of origin for the SCP or a simple layer created by the SCP. Well, that's basically it about this SCP. He's quite an attractive looking fellow if you know what I mean. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.